Hey guys, welcome back to all about Google Maps series from Coding Stuff. And till now in this series, uh, we have covered few videos. And in the first video, we have implemented the Google Map in Android Studio. Then in the second part, uh, we have learned how we can change the Google Map type so from hybrid to satellite, from satellite to terrain, etc. Then in the third part, uh, we explored Google Map UI settings. And in the previous video, we learned how we can apply custom styles on the Google Maps in Android Studio. So in case if you want to watch these videos, you can check out the link in the i button and also in the description box. And if you don't want to watch this, I would still recommend to watch this first video, how to implement Google Map in Android Studio, because this will be the base of all the upcoming videos. So we'll not uh, implement the Google Map in each and every video. So you should already know how we can implement the Google Map. Cool. So now in this video, we will learn how we can add a marker on the Google Map. So let's just jump to the Android Studio and we have this Google map uh, with custom style. So in the previous video, we learned how we can apply the custom style. And this is the radio group. And with the help of this radio group, uh, we are able to switch to the different uh, types of the Google maps. Cool. So now in order to add the marker, what we will do, I'll go down here and we need to create one val, which will be marker options. And this will be equals to marker options with empty constructor. So we don't need to pass anything here, but we can set a few properties to this or there are multiple properties to this. So let's just uh, have a look on the first one. So we will use marker options dot position. So here you can see uh, we got two positions. So one is for uh, getting the position. So this one is getter and this one is a setter. So here simply we'll pass the lat long that we created earlier in the first video and this is our on map ready callback which we got uh, when we pass this to this get map async function in the first video so yeah so now uh, we got the position we set the position to this marker options and now in order to add it on the google map what we can do we can use this map dot add marker and we can pass the marker options there so this is the map that we got from on map ready function so let's just try to run the app and we'll see our marker cool so our application is installed and you can see the marker over here so we'll see our properties that we can set to this marker options so first one uh, we will see the title so again if i write title we get getter and setter so we'll use setter here so i'll just write as a location and we'll try to run the app so we got our marker and now if I click on this, we'll get one info window in which uh, this text will display. So this is the title that we provide. And again, there is one function which is our property, which is a snippet. So with this snippet, uh, we can actually provide description to this title. So I'll just try it on this is my home. And actually this is not, but I'm just writing it. And I'll try to run the app. And now if I click on this, a marker then you can see we got a location and then the description to it so this is an info window and we can put our own layout custom layout here as well but uh, we'll not do it in this video there is a separate video which will be the next video in which we will create one custom info window all right so now let's just move on to the next property so now we'll use a uh, marker options dot alpha so in this alpha, let's just write it completely. So we get getter and setter with all the properties. So with this alpha, we can provide a opacity. So let us provide 4f here or let us provide 3f and I'll try to run the app. Cool. So as you can see, our marker is a bit faded. So this is the opacity. You can provide whatever value you want to provide here. And then uh, we will move on to the another property, which is draggable so again there is a getter and setter so i'll use draggable and by default uh, this is false so let me just provide a true here and as you can see on the google map if i try to hold on this marker and try to move it it's not dragging so let's just try to run the app with this draggable true value we can drag it throughout this map so now if i click on the marker and try to drag it so yeah as you can see i can drag it everywhere wherever i want to drag it 
cool so that's one property and now moving on to the next property so marker options dot rotation so here we can provide the rotation so our marker will be rotated so i'll provide 12f value and let us see cool so as you can see our marker is a bit rotated so yeah you can play around with these values and yeah so now uh, moving on to next property first uh, i want to show you something so if i try to uh, tilt this map with my two fingers up or down so in order to tilt the map uh, you just need to hold two fingers and move up or down so you can see uh, this is uh, standing but there is one property which will make this uh, marker as a flat so marker option dot flat here if i press true value this marker will be flat when i tilt the map cool so you will see it so now it is looking same but when i tilt the map you can see uh, this marker is flat cool so we can do this by using this flat value true so now uh, moving on to next one marker options dot visible so again there is a getter and setter so this is simple we can just hide the marker when we want to hide it and we can display it when we want to display it so by default this will be true but we'll make it false and this marker will be gone so our marker is gone so we'll just make it true make it true cool so now it is visible so now uh, let's just move on to the next property which will be marker options dot info window anchor so there is a uh, three properties that we can get here so two getters for u and v so we need to pass that uh, u and v over here as a float value so info window anchor and this refers to the x y on this map so let's just try to provide these values and we'll try to understand what this means so i'll provide 3f and 2f and i'll run the app so now if i click on this marker you can see our uh, info window is shifted uh, over here so this you can shift this info window based on this uh, u and v values so this refers to x and y values so if i make it negative this will be shipped to the left side so let's just try to run the app so now i'll click on this and as you can see this uh, info window is shifted over here so you can play around with these values uh, if your requirement is to display the info window uh, anywhere else apart from its original position so you can use this info window anchor and this will work cool so now we are remaining with the two properties which is marker marker options dot anchor anchor u v again these two are getters and we are remaining with the marker options dot z index so in order to understand uh, these two what we need to do uh, we need to create another marker for that so what i will do i'll just duplicate this and i'll make it light long 2 and i'll just try to change this value to 1030 the longitude and then i'll copy these two things i'll paste it over here so this will be two marker options two marker options two this will be light long 2 and then we'll add it on the marker or on the map and also copy this title and i'll use one here and i'll use two here so cool so now let's just try to run the app first and we'll see our marker is placed where okay sorry uh, we need to write two here and two here as we didn't got the marker over here so let's just try to run the app again so now uh, we got two markers here one is over here and one is over here so now in order to understand this anchor so what i will do i'll put this marker on the same location so i'll use light long this one so this both of this marker will on the same position and what i'll do i'll just use this marker options dot anchor and i'll provide some values here we need to provide x and y u and v so similarly i'll provide 2f 2f and i'll try to run the app so both of this marker position is same this one light long cool so let's just try to run the app and first marker is faded bit faded and this one is original we didn't customize it cool so you can see uh we got both of this marker on the same position but this marker one is shifted over here 
because uh, we use this anchor value so we can again uh, shift this marker from its original position to anywhere in the map uh, using this two uh, anchor values x and y values so yeah uh, and if you try to lock the original position of this marker it will be same let's just try to load it so marker options dot position we'll use this getter and i'll change this to marker values and i'll copy the tag and i'll run the application and i'll go to the terminal i'll paste marker values here and as you can see this is exactly same so 287041771025 cool so the position of this marker is actually the same but uh, we move its icon using this anchor function cool so yeah now we are remaining with this z index value so what i'll do i'll just uh, try to comment this out and i'll run the app so both of this marker will be on the same position so yeah both of this on the same position and i'll also remove the rotation so they will look on each other so now they are colliding or collapsing on the same position cool so now uh, who will decide uh, which marker will be on top so now in order to do that we have this z index function we can prioritize our markers so here it takes a float value so what i'll do i'll provide 1f here and as you can see now uh, the non faded or the marker 2 is over here at the top but when i write z index 1f you will see this this marker option 1 will be at the top so let's just try to run the app cool so as you can see the faded marker or the marker option 1 is on the top and if i try to click on this location 1 uh, let's just try to remove this info window as well anchor info window cool and now if i click on this you will see location 1 this is my home so this marker option one or marker options or marker one is prioritized on this marker option two so now uh, in order to make this marker option two uh, on the top of the marker option one what we just need to do i'll copy this and i'll make it zero f and i'll make it as a one f and i'll use marker options two cool and if i try to run the app you can see uh, the marker option 2 or second marker is on the top of the first marker and if i click on this we'll get a location to info window cool and in case if you notice uh, we got this mini thing here by using this we can go to the google maps and in the previous video i have talked about this when we will use a marker on the google map we learn about we will learn about this ui setting so let's just uh, copy this and there is one marker setting which is is map toolbar enabled so if i make it false you will not get this so let's just try to run the app so now if i click on this we will not get that uh, map toolbar over here when we make this value false so this map toolbar enable means that we can just make it true and by default this will be also true and by making it true if i click on this marker you will get this mini toolbar and with this toolbar we can go to the google maps so yeah that what it means uh, cool so now what we can do the last thing uh, we can change the color of this uh, marker icon so in order to do that marker options 2 dot icon and here we need to write bitmap descriptor factory dot default marker and here bitmap descriptor factory dot we can use this different colors so let's just try to use this uh, green color and i'll try to run the app and as you can see our marker color is changed to green cool so this is how you can change the color of the marker but in the next video we will see how we can have a custom icon to the marker and we'll also see how we can have custom info windows so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching